I've been craving a breakfast muffin for quite some time now, and we can't completely rely on any of the microwave versions out there, can we? So, gonna make my own today. Found this in Asda. This is 500 grams, half a kilogram of bacon for 90p. So I'm just wondering how good that stuff can really be. I'm gonna shove it in one of these. A Warburton's muffin. And knowing me, I'll probably shove an egg in there too. So in here, we have pieces of smoked or unsmoked bacon or gammon, with or without rind on, with added water. It recommends that you grill or fry it. So I'm gonna fry mine for about six minutes. Okay, before I turn the heat on, I thought it'd be nice to have a look at this meat. It's not looking too bad from here. There seems to be enough meat. A little bit of fat going through. It's okay though, need that for some extra flavour. Pretty decent close up. Looks like a picture of some of the Earth's terrain from space. So this top rasher, let's pull that away. Oh, it's quite thin, that one. So it's falling apart a bit, is that top rasher. Let's continue. See, this one's two rashers thick, so it's got a bit more about it. But it is cooking bacon, and with this stuff in the past, I have just chopped it up and fried it. Obviously it tastes just the same. Let's have a look what else is in here. Okay, so it looks like to me, like we just have lots and lots of layers. A little part here. Oh, here we go. See, now we've got a little bit more action. So this is pretty streaky there, isn't it? So we've got the fat and we've got the rashes on the other side. So here we go, near in the middle. There's a rasher for us. Pull off a bit of fat. I can't feel any rind on these pieces. Do you know what? For 90 pence, I think this is cracking. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a couple of these to get some fatty action. I'm going to take a bit of the meat and we'll start frying it up. Up comes the muffin. And I'd say that bacon's about ready for me. Here's that muffin out of the toaster. I don't like too much brown on it. So I want it to stay a little bit moist. Also I like to give it a little bit of that in the pan as well. So they end up looking a bit like this. And I can't help myself. I do like a bit of brown action on my bacon and egg muffins. Lovely colour on this albumen and indeed on this yolk. Let's break the seal. It's nice to spread it around a bit. The colour of this yolk and the smell of that bacon has got me salivating. So I can't wait to get involved. Time to see what the 90 pence as the bacon is like then. Right, here we go. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's delicious. As you can imagine, really, Warburton's muffin dipped in a bit of bacony olive oil, brown sauce, bacon, and a quality egg. It's just magnificent. Let's try that bacon on its own. That was a fine piece of bacon, as it happens. <laughs> if you hadn't have told me it was economy, I wouldn't have known. Lovely, salty, 
crispy. I've got to get re-involved. And do you know what? Dipping this thing in that oil. That is a great thing to do. I've got sauce dripping out. I've got egg dripping out. I've got a bit of olive oil dripping out. That's all right because you just scoop it all up and carry on going. Now I don't want to score my own creation, but what I can tell you is that bacon is perfectly fine, seriously. So you can spend a fraction of the cost and still get some tasty pig. That is phenomenal to the last bite. Mm. So as the cheapo bacon, what a magnificent product. Half a kilogram, 90p. I don't think I'll ever buy any other bacon again. Nice one. Anyway, thanks for coming. Till next time, get out of here. And knowing me, I'll probably sugar. Sugar. <laughs> this? Then? <laughs> time to see. E. I wouldn't have. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Try again, shall we? <laughs> other than. Other than. Uh, <laughs>